If a sub n is equal to n squared minus 10 over n plus 1, determine a sub 4 plus a sub 9. Well, let's just think about each of these independently. a sub 4, a, let me write it this way, a, the fourth term, so a sub 4, so our n, our lowercase n is going to be 4, is going to be equal to everywhere we see an n in this explicit definition for this sequence. Everywhere we see an n, we would replace it with a 4. So it's going to be equal to 4 squared minus 10 over 4 over 4 plus 1. Over 4 plus 1, which is equal to, well, let's see, that's 16 minus 10 over 5, which is equal to 6 over 5. So that is a sub 4. That is the fourth term. Now let's think about a sub 9. So a sub 9. So once again, everywhere that we see an n, we would replace it with a 9. We're looking at when lowercase n is equal to 9, or we're looking at the ninth term. So it's going to be 9 squared. Let me do that blue color just so we see what we're doing. 9 squared, do the green color, minus 10 over 9 plus 1. Over 9 plus 1 is equal to, well in the numerator we have 81 minus 10, 81 minus 10 over 10, over 9 plus 1. And so this is going to be equal to 71 over 10. Now they want us to sum these two things, so that's going to be equal to, it's going to be equal to 6 fifths, a sub 4 is 6 fifths, plus a sub 9, which is 71 over 10. 71 over 10. Well we can rewrite 6 fifths as being equal to 12 tenths. 12 tenths, and then 71 tenths, so plus 71 over 10, which is equal to, well if I have 12 tenths and then I have another 71 tenths, then I'm going to have 83 tenths. 83 tenths, and we're done.